Okay, today we're checking out the Lifeway 12 24 volt um, portable kettle. Uh, digital screen, it's got a few more settings than some of the generic ones that you can buy out there. Um, one thing I like about this, some people may like it, some people may not, is that it's got a, a base that it sits in. That's your base that delivers the power. I think that will come in handy for someone that wants to set it up in a cup holder or something. They can Velcro it in so it stays in there and they can just simply just take it out and put it back in to heat it back up when they're done. Um, yeah, come with a manual. Just uh, haven't really had a good look at it yet. And a tea strainer. All right, it's pretty basic. Um, it's like a, a it's like a um, furnace. It's got your on and off button. That's basically to lock the lid, so no one can bump it and open it up. So you go on, and that will open up. You can unscrew the top. Want to use it like that too? Yep. Uh, one good thing about these ones, as opposed to normal um, 12 volt kettles you can get, is that this is a double uh, wall stainless steel. Um, it's basically like a, a furnace or thermal cup, so it will keep the heat in and much more efficient in heating as well. So you can get away with low watt and still boil water. Um, this is only a 350 mil capacity, so basically only good for one cup. So keep that in mind if you want, you know, just for one cup or you want um, something bigger. It's, yeah, you might have to look for a, another option. All right, added some water, 350 mils, pretty much just a little bit under 350 mils. Um, yeah, we'll plug it in. Just uh, to mention too, just at the end of the cigarette lighter plug is where your fuses are. So if anything potentially goes wrong with them, um, check your fuse first. It's most likely that's what the issue is. All right, we'll plug it in and uh, go through the settings. All right, you pretty much got um, that one here. Then you've got um, high and low. Um, obviously, we just want to try high first, and we'll start it up. Um, also, I mentioned that th these kettles are obviously auto stop, so once they get to the preset temperature, boiling, or 70 degrees, whatever you set it at, it will stop and it will maintain that temperature it'll fluctuate between once it cools down it it'll heat back up again for example you can keep it at that temperature which a lot of um, cheaper kettles don't have that they basically will just if you're not watching them they'll boil and they'll just pretty much keep boiling until the water boils out so that's one good thing about these okay a little over 10 minutes and we're at 55 degrees and drawing about 90 watts so it's yeah quite efficient little thing all right we're done i just wanted to show you this, um that it actually beeps when it's ready, when you're at temperature, whatever temperature you set it at. Um, yeah, that took probably around 23, 24 minutes to boil, so a little bit quicker than the other kettle that I um, showed you. Um, overall, yeah, handy little thing. Um, not a bad, um, option to have high and low setting that might suit certain people that have um, 
a lower lower wattage um, 12 volt outlet, which some do, um, especially on trucks and certain machines. They'll have um, a lower, maybe 10 amp output. So this is probably catering for them. All right, 